What's up, everybody? I'm Josh Ben with Pulley FP, the channel where we help you gain more leverage in your business to free up time and resources. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, you know something that I see bogged down a lot of business owners, and you know, as business owners, you want to control everything just because it, you know your business is your baby, and it's hard to relinquish things. But you know, I tried to reframe why it's important to delegate and outsource things, and I think. You know, it's important to look at that from a financial standpoint as well, but that's what we're going to dive into in this video is you know, how business owners should kind of think about outsourcing tasks or getting different people to do tasks and how they can basically use their time in the business to direct it in the most positively impactful way within their business. So again, a lot of business owners basically want to control everything. They want to do you know, the sales calls, they want to do the you know social media posts, they want to you know, control the brand, they want to do the data entry, they want to do quality control, they want to do all these different things. Frankly, especially as you scale your business, there's not enough hours in the day. So you want to kind of start thinking about, you know, you're not going to, you know, realistically not going to outsource everything. You're not going to systemize everything right from the get-go. That comes with time and, you know, you know, the more time you free up, the more you can free up more time. And it becomes kind of a domino effect. You free up one task, that allows you more time to free up the next, next task and create systems to essentially duplicate yourself. But I'm going to show you something that, that we can kind of use to use an example of how to start thinking and mental modeling, how to duplicate yourself and and, and take that, that, that burden off you and, and basically free up your time. So... To, to kind of set the stage for this, let's imagine that you value your time at $250 an hour. So it could be, could be more than this, uh, it could be less, but for now, let's just you know kind of say your time is worth $250 an hour. And there's a quick and easy way to figure out kind of what your time is worth. Say, you know, just do mental math. Like, say you want to make $200,000 a year in your business, then what you do is you just, and, and say with that you want to take two weeks vacation. Well, then just divide 200000 by 50, and then that gives you your weekly amount. Divide that by 40 or however many hours you want to work in a week, and that gives you your hourly rate. So um, that's an easy way to kind of reverse engineer what you're worth per hour. But for this example sake, let's say it's $250. You value your time at $250 an hour. Okay, so if we use this as an example, so this is something I put together for tax and like financial, you know, business type clients that we worked with and things like that. But um, so these type of tasks may not be quite applicable to you, but here, let's zoom out a little bit. I hope that lose everything. Oh, there we go. So basically this is kind of how you want to think about these different tasks. So I, I break down tasks into, you know, $10 an hour, $20 an hour, $50 an hour, $100 an hour, $250 an hour, so on and so forth. So basically what you want to do as a business owner is since you know your time is worth $250 per hour, you want to start delegating the tasks that are least valuable to you and your business. So oftentimes these may be things like, you know, paperwork, data gathering, scheduling, getting tax documents if you're in tax business, different calculations. So some basic things, like a lot of times this stuff can be outsourced just by using a particular software like uh, scheduling, Calendly, uh, or Calendly.com is a software that allows you to, you know, let people book time automatically on, you know, on your website. And so you could use a, a Calendly software where you don't even have to do back and forth emails to schedule a time or things like that. Those are time wasters. Whereas if you can do this, pay a software 10 bucks a month and boom, that's outsourced and taken off your plate. Uh, same with like data gathering. There's a lot of form softwares out there that can link right into your CRM these days. So if you have a way to send that form to a client, you can gather all the data you need. Boom, it goes right into your CRM. You've, you've gathered that data. So those are you know ways to do this. But you can also hire a virtual assistant. Um, you know, these days you can hire a virtual assistant all over the world at relatively low cost because of just cost of living arbitrage around the world. And... You could have them do a lot of the data gathering or paperwork or things like that. Um, same with like social media posting. In the days of Fiverr and again, Upwork and virtual assistants, you could have somebody working full time for you for significantly less than you would be paying someone in house or 
doing it yourself. So obviously there's some more nuance to social media posting, especially staying on brands. So you want to have someone qualified, but again, that's not, not something that you have to be doing. And a lot of times there's going to be someone better at it than you are. You know, halfway around the world, that's going to do a better job at a much lower cost to you. So it's one of those things like, I mean, for example, like with my own business, I hate social media. Uh, I like doing videos, I like that sort of thing, but I don't like creating social media posts. And it's one of those things that's just not gonna be top of mind for me. So I get somebody on my team to do the social media for me. Um, and they do a significantly better job than I ever would. Uh, and, you know, yeah, we, we talk through kind of what I want, the messages I wanna come across and the, you know how I want the brand to look and things like that. But then they go ex execute. So it's just out of my mind. I'm not having to worry about it. it saves me a ton of time, so on and so forth. But that's, so what you want to do with this is basically start by outsourcing some of these smaller tasks, either to technology, to a virtual assistant, you name it, and then start rolling up the chain. So if you then say outsource social media or blog writing is an easy one to, to outsource. I mean, we talk through this in another video, but there's sites like iWriter where you can basically have an article written for uh, you know, 2000, 2000 words for 44 bucks. Um, you can get them much cheaper, but these are ones like, so here you can see 2000 for under 15 bucks or, or for under 20 bucks. So maybe may not be the best quality and that's why you might want to go up. But anyway, like even if you get their top tier writers writing a $2,000 word, word or 2000 word blog post for you, it's still going to be cheaper than your $250 an hour. So it's a, still a better use of your time hiring someone that's a very good writer to write a blog post for you than for you to be doing it yourself. So this is kind of the mental model that I'm talking about when I say, you know, I want entrepreneurs to really think through what is your time worth and when it comes to all this stuff. Because really as a business owner, the only way you scale businesses is, is by doing what you do best and theoretically only what you do best. You'll never get to the point where you're 100% just dedicated to the only things that you want to do, just not realistic. But you can get to where you're spending 80, 90% of your time doing exactly what you want to be doing. And that's a really powerful thing for you, you as an individual and your, your health and sanity and your, you know, <laughs> your family life. But it's also a powerful thing for growing your business as well. Because if you're focusing on what you're good at and what helped you build the business in the first place, that's just going to help it grow as well and help you serve clients better. Like if you're dedicating your time just to, you know, building your business, business development, seminars, client education, client experience, these things, that's what's going to build the business as opposed to, you know, you being heavily into the data entry. So hopefully you found this video valuable. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions or thoughts, love to hear from you in the comments. But otherwise, till next time, cheers.